Look at that. He stuns Yoda and the tower. Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad. Do the like, the subscribe, the good stuff. Klaus is in this house, the Clatoonian Raider, also known as Klaus because of autocorrect in Discord. And when somebody typed Clatoonian and it changed it to Klaus, so now he is called just Klaus. Klaus wird hier. Klaus ist hier. Uh, it's das Krieg. Klaus is here. Klaus is here in the war. All right, so Klaus is here. Clatoonian Raider is here. Let's talk about what he does. I'm going to show you some examples. I am using a level 7 Clatoonian Raider in my ladder play, which you know that I average about 12.2 for units and towers with opponents I'm matching against. It's, it's above 12, and he is making a difference in my ladder play with all those level 12 units. Let's take a look real quickly at his health and his speed, then we'll talk about what he does. His health is 750, his speed is 6. Now let's look at a level 12. Notice Klaus is level 7, the Stormtrooper is level 12. Uh, he already has more health than this Stormtrooper and almost twice the speed of the Stormtrooper. So he's going to be a big beefy boy as he levels up. And what Klaus does is, let's see, if their gassy faces don't shock, they're okay. Oh, it doesn't really tell here what he does. He does an AOE stun with damage. So he stuns everything in front of him and damages it at the same time. And his attack speed is super fast. This guy is the new difference maker on the dark side. Let's watch a battle where I used him re here recently. Just so you can see that what he does, a level seven Klaus, Clatoonian warrior, Clatoonian raider, whatever he is, against level 11, 12 units, etc. Let's go ahead and fast forward so we see him in the roster here. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Whoa, is Klaus, where is Klaus? Ah, wow, we're taking forever. Okay, we finally got him in the cycle, and here he comes. All right, now watch this carefully, everybody. Watch this carefully. I've got Boba Fett fighting against a, a pod of porgs, a pork pod, and Yoda, okay? I want you to watch. I want you to watch what happens here. I'm not kidding. Watch what happens. My Boba Fett is just below half health. Level 7, Clatoonian Raider. Clatoon, I can't get his name right. I don't know what he is. Warrior, Clatoonian Raider. I think he's Clatoonian Raider, right? Got level 7 coming against level 12 Yoda, level 10 Porgs. I'm way out leveled here. And watch what happens. Look. Well, they shield up, first of all. But look. Okay, so they took out Boba Fett. But look what he does! Are you kidding me? That just happened. L let's start this over. I want you to watch that again. To watch what happens. Yoda's shields... Klaus hangs out behind Boba Fett until he dies and then takes out the entire group level seven That's this isn't supposed to happen folks This isn't how it's supposed to work. We're gonna fast forward to it again You can watch and we got more in this match to watch But I just want you to watch that again because that is the astonishing moment of the game right there It's unbelievable what he just accomplished what he just did what what the Clatoonian Raider was all right, here he comes. He's gonna get these guys. No, he's not. They're gonna shield. Well, he's stunning them, so they do less damage to Boba Fett while he's stunning him. And then he stuns them all, and he still he takes them out. What happens when this guy is like level ten? I mean, I can tell you what happens because people are using him against me. You you have real problems on your hands. Let's fast forward to him again here. I just want I just want to get this the Klaus footage for you here. Now I don't want to waste, waste your time with other stuff. He's in the lineup right now, so let's see if I choose to launch him or not. I don't remember. Oh, there he goes. So we got we got uh, Klaus with a super battle droid. He's charging ahead of it. Like I said, he's fast. The guy's fast. Look at that. He stuns Yoda and the tower. He's not going to survive this one, but look what he did. He did about a quarter health damage to Yoda while stunning the tower enough for the super battle droid to kill it. Now we don't want to watch my tower die, right? That's, that's depressing. No, we, we, we don't watch the tower die. It's barely alive. Okay. Here comes Klaus. Here comes Klaus again. He's in the lineup, boys and girls. Let's see what he does this time around. I, I'm telling you, this guy this guy is maybe going to be uh, in the new list of required units in the game. He just, he's going to be dominant as he levels up. Watch out for that. Okay, here he comes. He's coming, the, he's coming into the fray. That'd be great to outnumber them. But look, look. He goes and he stuns all the Ewoks. They can't do anything. He's still moving forward. He gets a uh, booba ball there. Is he going to die? He's going to die. And I think that's our last chance to use Klaus here. And there is. The game is over. Guys, I I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I don't think I need to show you a bunch of other examples. The guy manhandles stuff. 
and he does the same thing to particle beams that you saw him do to the turbo lasers. He stuns those particle beams. They can't do anything about it. So that's it, guys. That, that's that's the whole deal. Klaus, the Klatoon... I gotta look it up. Let's get it right before I leave. Before I leave. Is it Raider or Warrior? I think it's Raider. Thank you. Platoonian Raider. I'm <laughs> thanking myself. I said it wrong about 25 times. Platoonian Raider. This guy is going to make a huge difference in your lineups. Get him Get him to level 7. I have level 7. I'm trying to get him to level 8. Get him in your lineup. Get him out there crushing light side stuff. Get him killing Porgs. Get him killing e Blah, burp. Get him killing Ewoks. Get him to make a difference in your game. And get him to remember Nooch Too Good.